Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here once again with another video on just the Arrowverse as a whole, the Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, and I guess Batwoman as well as Legends of Tomorrow because we finally got our first like real piece of Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover event, coming of Christ, whatever you want to call it, uh, that we're getting at the end of this year, um, you know, end of 2019, but also in you know, Flash Season 6, Arrow Season 8, uh, Supergirl Season 5, and Legends Season 5, Batwoman Season 1. There's a lot happening, okay? So stick with me because it's sort of confusing because the way it's worded is very confusing, but also really interesting. Um, so, and you, you guys might be able to correct me in certain parts, but this is the way I'm um, seeing it. And because I think the way I'm seeing it is hopefully the best way to go about it because the other way could be a bit messy and maybe lose people if they go this way. So, um, so I was going to say, yeah, so we have Christ on Infinite Earths. We'll go over some other stuff involving um, two of the other shows involved. But Crisis has, just let me get all this stuff on my screen right now. So they, at the CW upfronts, it's a big thing. And uh, it's a big thing for the CW. Like they had the Jonas Brothers open the show, which I thought was the most random thing ever because I thought, why would they bother? Like having like a musical performance. But if you like the Jonas Brothers, then there you go. But they uh, had all the shows come out, talked about some of the new shows. Batwoman had a trailer show, which might have come out before this video. I don't know. I might have done a video on it. I don't know. I'm not sure when I'm uploading these videos. But then they came to Christ on Infinite Earths and the rest of DC TV. They didn't really talk much about the other shows, um, really, to be completely honest. They haven't talked about Flash yet at this point. They might, but I'll probably do that in a different video. This is really just focusing on Crisis. But they did just talk about Crisis for a, a little bit. Okay, so this is what they said. Crisis on Infinite Earths is described as five hours over two quarters. Um... Yeah, so the Christ... Oh, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll say that differently. Crisis on Infinite Earths, uh, uh, the event, will air over five hours and two quarters. And they had like this picture. I don't have it because no one took it. I'm just going off what someone else said. Uh, it had this picture. It had all the heroes and it included the legends as well as Batwoman. So it had, you know, the Flash, Green Arrow, Supergirl, Batwoman, and the Legends of Tomorrow. So um, we'll, we'll get into something about Legends of Tomorrow in a second, which sort of could impact the crossover or have no effect on it at all. But the most confusing thing there, and it's really confusing people as well, is this, it will air over five hours in two quarters. Like, what does that mean? What, because it, you know, a quarter has four. So what does two quarters mean? Well, the first option, it's the one I really don't want them to go with because I think it's going to ruin some momentum and it might lose traction for this last quarter or the second quarter that they're going for. And if this two quarters means quarter four of 2019, so that last three months, you know, where, the, you know, you know that, that first brick of the shows, you know, that first half of the season airs for all the shows is one quarter. And then they pick up this, the, the crossover, you know, uh, there's like a cliffhanger at the end of that first quarter. And then we have the mid-season break and we pick up in the second quarter and then they show the rest of it. That, that's a massive gap. There's about a, like a month and a half, month and at least one week break there in the middle of a crossover event, which, yeah, if it leaves on a massive cliffhanger and it keeps people going like, what the hell happened there? Then it it could work, but you got to realize for like general audiences and stuff and just people that tune in weekly and that might, might just be tuning in just for that event, you're going to have a massive drop off in that second quarter. Regardless of people really want to find out what's happening, they might just not be up to date when, when it's coming back. So I'm hoping what they mean by this, and we are going to break some math down here. So I'm actually put it up on the screen just to be a smart ass. But essentially, an episode when you take out ads is about 40 to 45 minutes. But let's just say 40 minutes, okay? Let's let's just say it's 40 minutes just to just to help my case, to be completely honest. So four minutes, uh, f sorry, 40 minutes uh, times four is 160. So the first four episodes, so say it's Batwoman, Supergirl, The Flash, and Arrow are the four shows that we are going to be experiencing the crisis on, crisis on Infinite Earths event. So we have the four episodes each week. So it's four times 40 is 160. In five hours, there is 300 minutes. So 160 times two is 320 minutes. So it does say over five hours, but they're not going to say five hours and 20 minutes. So it could be just be roughly over five hours is this crisis on Infinite Earths event. So we could be getting... Um, two weeks of this event. So whether it happens in episode eight and nine of the seasons, seven and eight of the seasons, or if we're unlucky, and, and as I said, if they do pick it up in, say, the um, 
the different quarters and we get it like episode nine is the first week, which is the mid season finale for all the shows. Then we have that like week, uh, sorry, that month or month and like two week break. And then we have this second, um, you know, round of like four episodes and that finishes off the crossover. That's how they could go about it. And I think that's the dangerous way. Like for us fans that are going to watch the episodes regardless, it's okay. It's actually probably extremely awesome because you get this massive cliff when you're thinking like, holy c- what's happening like what's happening like especially if they leave on this big cliffhanger which i think i know what they could do if they do want to leave on this big cliffhanger leading into that like six week break if they want to do that but as i said for the general audience especially the people that will just tune in that might not watch all the shows or just one of the shows or something um it's bad for them you know it is it is bad for them because they're going to lose traction of when the shows come back and stuff like that and comic fans or people that just know this event or just might, might, they might, might see it like advertised on TV or stuff. They might just watch it for this event. And if it has this big break in between the first half of the crossover and the second half of the crossover, it's a bit dodgy. So I think the safest way just to make sure everyone sees it all is it plays back to back on the weeks. But we know that Arrow has 10 episodes. So it wouldn't be too surprising if they really did stretch out Arrow just for that tiny bit more. And the episode 10 of Arrow is after that mid-season break. So Arrow actually does actually have like a technically a mid-season finale in episode nine for their last season. And then they have one episode when we come back and it's that second part of the the crossover after that mid-season break. As I said, I prefer if they didn't do that just because it's extremely messy, but they could do that. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. It's really hard to tell if they mean two quarters as in like quarters of television season or two as in like two bunches of quartered episodes if that makes sense does that make sense you know two bunches of like um f- groups of four you know because there's it's gonna be it's gonna be on four shows so during two weeks so i'm hoping it's the just week after week and not the six week break but who knows what we're gonna get in regards to what this cliffhanger could be the cliffhanger works either way um for us fans as i said that, that we watch the shows regardless it'll work for that long break because we'll be like oh crap what's gonna happen so the cliffhanger that they could do for Crisis is... I don't think they'll use the character from the comics. I'm not going to spoil it just in case he does show up in the show uh, or the TV event. It'd be very cool if he does. And he's being teased on Constantine, I think it was. Um, but this character basically does something which causes the multiverse basically to go, oh, look, look at all these Earths we have. Oh, crap, it's just been mushed into one Earth. And there's a bunch of characters that are only present... Okay, so when the Earths merge, there's like... A bunch, like I think, f- three or f- three to five characters or something that are able to remember the different er- that the- there was a multiverse. But everyone else that's not in this uh, plane of existence, I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. But there's like this area um, where like it's changed. The people that weren't there and that are you know that were just on the Earth and stuff like that, they don't remember there was a multiverse. They just act as if there was just one Earth the entire time. But there's a, there's a handful of people that remember there being a multiverse and everything like that. And at the end of the crossover, they actually do end up getting shifted to another dimension, which is known as the Paradise Dimension, which is where we believe that Oliver went, uh, or sorry, that Felicity went at the end of Arrow this season and where Oliver could possibly go. So maybe Oliver's the one and maybe like, Maybe another character that they may want to kill off or that they don't really want to use could be there to experience. Or maybe Oliver's the only one that experiences that he's the only one that knows that the multiverse changes, but then he has to leave because of that. It's going to be interesting to see what they do. It is going to be very interesting because they can either, as I said, for us fans that watch the show, it works either way. But for the fan, or for, well, not, not fans, I guess, but just for the people that want to watch it, just for the event itself, or they might only watch Flash or might only watch Arrow or might only watch Supergirl. It can be a bit confusing if there is that big break. Either way, it works for us, but for just the general viewer or like the the amateur or just like, you know, uh, you know the casual viewer, I guess you could say, it, it can be a bit confusing. They did release some stuff about Arrow. They did release a synopsis, um, which basically says, um, like towards the end, it says, uh, it goes, uh, it's like, says uh, after Oliver does something, blah, 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 it goes, Oliver will find himself pit against his most challenging battle yet, one that will leave the multiverse hanging in the balance. In Arrow's final season, Oliver Queen is forced to confront the reality of what it means to be a hero. So they're very vague with that Arrow um, sort of synopsis. They call it like a season eight synopsis. 
but it's really just a recap of like the entire show for the most part and some of the other characters there and they just sort of tease what could happen in season eight but they're being very vague because i don't think they really want to explore too much of what arrow is going to be doing next season i hope it's really just some solo oliver queen stuff and you know maybe setting up crisis i think that's what we really want but they're very vague with that and they did confirm that legends will not be a part of the first half i guess of the season you call it they're going to be starting their season um in 2020 so after the mid-season and they're probably going to be starting they're probably going to be replacing arrow's time slot um that's just a prediction i think that will probably happen because if you didn't know flash and arrow were going to be on the same day so flash is going to be on first at eight o'clock arrow one at nine so um i assume that's where legends are going to go but this this crisis stuff i'm sure we'll hear more about it at comic-con I'm not going to lie, I was expecting more, um, maybe like some new key art or something like that, and they did show some stuff there and they might put that online, but um, it's actually sort of rare that they do release it online, but we might see it, we might, I'm not saying we won't, we might see it, but um, I, I, I was sort of expecting more because this is a big event, but they did have a lot of new shows to sort of promote and some other shows just to start promote more that maybe didn't perform as well as they wanted to in the previous seasons. Um, but yeah, we could get some stuff that comes out in line. As I said, Batwoman trailer could come out soon. We might get some new crisis stuff leading up to Comic-Con or at Com- We'll definitely get it at Comic-Con. We might get it leading up to Comic-Con as well. Um, but I'm not going to lie if I'm, yeah, a bit disappointed we didn't see a bit more. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Um, let, your, let, me, uh, let me know your opinions in the comment section down below. Do you have a different um, like view on those the two quarters? I think the most simple explanation is that it's, you know, it's split over that mid-season break, but I'm hopefully like it just it's a just it's worded weirdly, and it is just over two weeks with four episodes in each week. But let me know all, all your various opinions down there. If you enjoyed the video, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like and it show support, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.